Hi everyone, Melissa here. Today I am going to do a style of ombre that I don't think I've done a video for before. So I'm gonna be doing a vertical ombre with two solid colors. I actually I had something else in mind today. You just, this happens to me way too frequently. Something else in my head and I practiced it and it didn't quite work out the way I envisioned it. So um, this was kind of a um, one, well, another last minute design change, but I think it's going to look great. And I, and I, once I realized I hadn't done a solid color vertical ombre before, um, I knew that I had to do this. So I'm going to be using double dips. Oh, my blurple. This is, um, one of her new colors that just came out and Irish eyes. Which is an older color, I think this one's actually retired, but it's just a nice bright blue. And then I think I'm going to throw in some hex in the design somewhere afterwards. This is a flake that shifts kind of from a purple to blue, and there's a bit of magenta in there also. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started with the ombre. Make sure I stay in screen here. So... I have so far my builder gel down, um, a layer of gel top coat and two layers of peel base. And then I am going to do one layer of dip base over all of this before I start the process and let that dry because I need my layers to dry slowly. Um, and dip base over peel base tends to dry pretty quickly. So I'm just gonna go ahead and throw a layer down and let that dry before we get started. All right, now that this is dried, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the vertical ombre. So I'm going to be using my little e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. I love this for ombres. The shorter bristles are very easy to control. And I'm going to go ahead and start with my first nail. I'm just gonna start with this one because it's gonna be easier to see. And just paint on a full, generous layer. Of course, you don't want it to be too thick to where it'll run into the cuticles or drip but you want it to be thick enough that you know that base is not going to dry super quickly and you're going to be able to get powder on there i'm going to start with my nail turned completely to the side so that i'm only tapping onto one side of the nail i'm going to start with my blurple i'm going to get my brush in there and I want some powder kind of on top of the brush so that I have plenty to work with and just start tapping onto the side of the nail it will fall the powder should fall pretty much exactly where you want it to only on the one side and not on the other but once you get that nice nicely covered you want to tilt your nail just a bit so that you can start tapping and a little bit falls. You may need, I mean, I need more powder. And a little bit falls more towards the center of the nail. So we have that half covered so far. I'm gonna tap and wipe the brush off. And then we're going to come in. I'm gonna flip the nail over and pretty much do the same thing with the other color. This is not easy. Okay. Roll the nail just a bit so that it covers more. It's a little on the center. Tap and then we'll brush that off and see. Now this first coat, I've noticed when I do the when I do this, it always seems like the first coat is just a straight line down the middle, but it usually fixes itself on the second, sometimes third if you need it. We're gonna go ahead and do a second coat here. So I'm gonna give it, once again, a nice, generous coat. And this time I'm going to start with the second color first.
Okay, I think I am gonna do one more coat just to make sure that the, the coverage of that color is really nice. So once again, flipping over to the third coat, we're going to be switching back. So we're just gonna be alternating each coat that we do, which color we start with. Okay, here's my second finger done. I just thought of one little tip I wanted to make sure to say. Um, I'm not really implementing this with these colors because they are similar darkness. However, if you are doing a darker color and a lighter color, whatever order you do them in, you want to make sure that your darker color is the last one that you sprinkle on just because the darker color blends over the lighter color better than a lighter color will blend over the darker color. All right, now the ombre portion is done. Uh, we're gonna figure out what we want to do with this foil. I haven't quite decided exactly what kind of um, design I want to do on there. Uh, I think I just want to make every nail the same, so whatever I do, I'm gonna do it on all the nails. I was thinking something, maybe something simple just coming along the cuticle or along here. I think I want to do along here. So I'm going to just use my gel base coat and um, just a detail nail art brush here. Just putting a dab of the gel base there so that I can work with it. And then I'm gonna kind of, I'm gonna try it on one nail first and see how I like that. I'm gonna do just kind of along the corner. Probably not going to put it in this whole area and see I didn't draw it super straight, but that's okay because I'm going to, because I'm using gel base, I can kind of decide where I want the flakes to go and where I want them to not go. So I feel like that's probably a larger area than I want to do, but we'll see. I'm just going to kind of actually just dab this in here. For ease of application. And then I'm going to use my little water marbling tool to kind of cut it where I want the line to be. And I'm just kind of pressing the flakes down so that I can clean it up and kind of see where they are and how it looks. And I think that's going to be good. So just cleaning it up a tad more. Okay, and I'm going to cure that so that it stays where it is and then I'll do the rest of the nails the same way. Okay, and now I'm just gonna do a dip of clear over all of the nails so that we can file or activate and file everything. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and activate and file all of this Hopefully get all this, some of this pigment off of my hands too, and then uh, we'll see where we stand. All right, all filed up, and now I'm going to activate and top coat and see how it looks. And there we are with the finished design. That uh, ombre is very subtle. I, I know it, especially in this camera right now, it's very difficult to even see it. So I'm gonna have a lot of fun trying to uh, get 
it captured in a photograph but I love the look of it I love the subtlety of it and I definitely needed something a little bit darker to contrast the brightness I was just wearing so I am happy let me know what you think um, and as always thank you for watching and I will see you next time